way this morning with the radio broadcast of the race. It's really built a cult following over the decades, Nina. Absolutely. Good morning, Scott and Lauren. Watching the Indy 500 is like nothing else. The speed and adrenaline, as you know, can be infectious. If you can't be here at IMS, many outside of central Indiana will turn to their TVs. But for millions, this is a sport for the ears. Alexander Rossi almost rolling to a dead stop. Twin checkers are out and the rookie will win the 100th Indianapolis 500 mile race. The Indy 500 is one of the last great sporting events that still has a marriage to radio. It's exciting. I mean, the brain's got to be moving fast because these cars are traveling at 225 miles per hour. Pit lane's a little more hectic than driving a car. Every May for more than six decades, as the drivers round the track, race fans turn on their radio, relying on about a dozen voices to bring this action into life. First starting with just an Indianapolis 500 effort. I'm the conductor of the most talented broadcasting orchestra in the country. They are led by this man, Mark Jaynes, a full-time teacher and coach whose baritone voice is just the sixth in 64 years to call the race. Uh, to be one of them is uh, beyond my wildest dreams and expectations. And even in a world where technology is inescapable and a sport where it means that extra momentum to the finish line, the IndyCar radio broadcast seems almost untouchable. And even last year when for the first time locally the, the blackout was lifted and people could watch, I think people still listen because this race and this event is about tradition. It's about the tradition of where you sit. It's about the tradition of what you eat or what you bring to the track. Or for people that don't go to the race, it's the tradition of going to the lake house or working in the yard or cleaning the garage that day. And I think that the radio just brings the magic to people and there's a nostalgia that goes with that. We'll talk to you then on the Advanced Auto Parts IndyCar Radio Network from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Nina Cristolo, 24 hours. The IndyCar Radio Indy 500 broadcast is carried on about 400 radio affiliates around the world. It is also available on satellite radio through Sirius and XM. You can stream it online, and there are downloadable podcasts. Scott, Lauren? Yeah, Nina, I've got to ask you, we are talking about the weather here today. Have you noticed how yeah. much has been raining there at the, at the track? Oh, absolutely. We're on the fourth floor here at the Media Center across from the Pagoda. And so it's really gusty, windy up here. It's chilly this morning, especially for May. You know, you wouldn't expect to have to bring your jackets out here and your raincoats. But it's been a blustery morning. We've been trying to get inside as much as possible. Man, we're hoping that doesn't repeat on Sunday. <laughs> we're really hoping. Absolutely. Nina, thanks for the behind the scenes view. Mm -hmm. I, 